Are we far away from that other person? No, not that far. What? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at so, yeah. And that's when the chase started again. Tracking them, trying to just see where, what direction. But yeah, well, like I said, we were just chasing tails all the way. And laughing at us, probably going, oh, there we go. Yeah. Now, follow us. We were just leading to another ditch, into another nice thick clump of trees. Today, uh, is a, an incredible day for Babanango Game Reserve, uh, really as part of the rewilding program. There's a couple of species that are still outstanding to get the reserve to a big five level. Uh, today we are trying to catch the first lions that will be introduced to Babanango Game Reserve. Uh, we're aiming to get two males, they related individuals, and they'll form the first male coalition on the reserve. Uh, a really significant opportunity to get a, a, an apex predator onto the reserve uh, as we really get to the end of this incredible project. So these two male lions have been forced to uh, the sort of extremities of the reserve uh, as a result of the dominant males pressurizing them. And so they are now um, located in an area where it's really thick and they'll probably be sticking to sort of dense riverine areas and that makes it very difficult for us. They've got uh, collars on, uh, we're using VHF which is telemetry technology to track them and there's also another technology in the collar. So hopefully we'll be able to get a much more accurate location but that in itself doesn't mean it's going to make it easy because we still then got to get to those lines. And as I mentioned with the long grass and the thick bush, um, it's not easy to, to get close enough, um, particularly if they're in a thick block of land where it's rocky and so on. So it's definitely going to be a challenging uh, operation to, to get these lines. There's a tame viewer going that way. No, there you go. No, there. What's the next exit point? They actually need a joint. Put the joint up and then you can actually see. Wow. You bring the joint. Because of the size of reserve, these, these two uh, sub-adult males are just being pretty much chased from pillar to post. So they, they're pretty nervous, uh, they're pretty elusive, and it sounds like they're in a very uh, dense area. There's a lot of bush, a lot of trees, and a lot of cover. We've got a trailer that we're going to load them into. They'll be sedated, and then we'll take them directly back to Babanango. Babanango has built a, a special boma dedicated to these two cats, so we'll move them into the, into the boma where they'll probably stay for about six to eight weeks um, and then they'll be released onto the bigger reserve. Let's check this eyes are just on the left.
So there are no um, health issues that we're concerned about from moving them from Nambiti to Babadangu. Um, once we've caught them, we'll give them a tranquilizer that will um, tranquilize them for about five to seven days, and then we'll probably need to repeat that on the other side in the bomas as well, just to take away all that anxiety. Um, we want them to feed, we don't want them to lose weight, we don't want them to lose condition. Um, we kind of need them to settle, settle in quite nicely, so we'll probably manage that with, with tranquilizers. Once started, and we um, take them back to the trailer, we will wake them up so they'll be 100% fully awake for their trip back to Babadangu. A lion is a king of animal, and we compare lion with our king. That's why we call our king Ingonyama, means a lion of this nation. The king has returned. It's never too late. To hear the sound of the lion roar, reverberating through the valleys of Babanango Game Reserve, the heart of the Zululand will be the sound of another conservation success. Babadango Game Reserve is situated in the heart of Zululand, where seven Zulu kings are buried, not far from Babadango Game Reserve. This area then is called the Valley of the Kings. There's been no lions in this area for more than 150 years. And that is so significant in bringing back lions into the area of Babadango. Well, it's a, a milestone day for us today with the release of the lions onto the reserve. I mean, lions capture our imagination. They're the biggest predator uh, on, on the African continent. I think it's the, the animal that most people want to come and see. Um, and of course, they have a, a huge impact on the ecology of, of a big five game reserve like this. I mean, they're, um, they're, ca they're catching and eating big animals, but they're also uh, luring in the other scavengers and are, are really an important part of the broader ecosystem. It's going to be incredible to hear the first lions roaring through the valleys of Babananga Game Reserve. Uh, those roars haven't been heard for many, many years. We are bringing back what was here before, and that, that has been taken away, and now we are just bringing back. Lions used to walk these hills and these valleys a long time ago. really to return the kings back to the Valley of the Kings in the heart of Zululand. A reserve without a lion is a reserve without a king.